Good morning, children. Now I am back with part two of glimpses of the past from your English textbook, Honey Dew. Students, first have a look on part one. What did we include there? So these are the five different topics that we included in part one. First one is the martyrs. Second one, the company's conquests from 1757 to 1849. Then British rule. Then Raja Ram Mohan Roy. And finally, I also explained. Oppression. That was the fifth event mm, given in our textbook. So these were five different events. If you have not seen that video, I have given you the link in the description box. You can check it there, and then you can again switch to part two. So now let's have a look on part two now. So students, this is the sixth event described here, known as dissatisfaction, from 1835 to 56. children dissatisfaction means when you are not satisfied with something that is happening with you so here the indians they were dissatisfied with the behavior of the britishers with the policies of the britishers and how they were governing uh, all of us so because of that dissatisfaction rose in our society now see different events during this period Education in India was in Persian and Sanskrit. In 1835, a British man named Macaulay suggested a change. So, children, uh, before the arrival of the Britishers until 1835, Indian students were getting education through Sanskrit and Persian language. Means the medium of instruction was Sanskrit and Persian language. In 1835 one Englishman one Britisher named as Macaulay his name was Macaulay he came to India and he saw um, that Indian education system and then finally he made one suggestion what was his suggestion we should teach the natives through the English language his suggestion was that now the medium of instruction for the Indian students must be changed and now they should also uh, teach english language to indian students and the other official was agreed with him so now uh, the indian students started getting education of english language uh, their medium was now english and as a result indian students were uh, now quite educated and they were ready to get the jobs in the english offices in the offices that were built by the britishers but there the britishers gave very unimportant jobs to the indian people these indian intellectuals who were produced who were ready after getting english education but we indians also got one benefit of english education what was that benefit now we uh, our our people who were getting education through english they were turned into a new generation of intellectual people means after getting education in english they were now very much familiar with the policies with the language of the foreigners and they were able to easily understand their tricks and tips how they were ruling on us so now uh, it was a benefit for indian society and after getting education we also um, became learned so we means the indian people of that time so now they were able to think about their own uh, welfare and the welfare of the society of india so now they also made a plan now what they are discussing here in the second picture we must educate our brothers after getting education they thought that their other brothers should also get education in a proper manner so for that the other one is saying and try to improve their material conditions means we should try to make our brothers educated and we should also try to improve their financial status material conditions means financial status means because the indians were not getting enough money from the britishers side so their financial condition was a bit poor 
means they were only eating, earning and eating and they were not able to store anything for future if, in case they have some problem in the future. So here the intellectuals people who are now well educated they are planning that they should try to think about the other brothers of their society and they should also try to improve their material condition. And for that they also planned that they must complain to the British Parliament against the rules that are prevailing for the Indian, Indian people in, in Indian society from the British side. By 1856 the British had conquered the whole of India. They cared little about the needs of Indians. Our kings have become puppets and we have lost our old jobs and lands. They are converting our brothers. You only talk, do something to drive them out. Now students here in the map we can easily find out that till 1856 the Britishers covered, they conquered the whole of India and it is very much clear when we just observe this map. Here the pink uh, color it depicts the British area and the yellow color depicts the it tells about the Indian states. So uh, this map easily um, can tell you that now whole India was covered by the Britishers. They were having means they were having the rule on the complete Indian states except two three that are depicted in this map through the yellow color and then uh, during this British rule Indians were not taken care with properly their needs were not taken care of in the correct manner in the proper manner so here uh, this is the scene where in, uh, in the night time the people of a village they are sitting hopelessly and they are discussing about their fate in the British rule. What they are discussing? The first man is telling our kings have become puppets and we have lost our old jobs. He is telling that now all the kings are uh, conquered by the Britishers and now they are the puppets of their hands. They are behaving like the puppets of Britishers and we also have lost our old jobs. Old means that we were doing from that we inherited from our ancestors so now we have lost our old jobs also means the job of weaving clothes the job of making utensils mending shoes and uh, different other such things and then further the other man who is some pandit he is telling and that we have also lost our lands means these britishers they has they have also captured our lands from us through different policies and then further some other man is telling that they are converting our brothers means these Britishers they are also forcing our Indian brothers and sisters to uh, leave their, their original religion and to become Christian. Then further one more man is telling he is telling that uh, we should not only talk about all this but we should do something to drive these Britishers out of our country. Now the next event that is described here is the Sparks from 1855 to 57. Texas continued to ruin the peasants in Bengal. The Santhals who had lost their lands under new land rules became desperate. In 1855, they rose in rebellion and massacred Europeans and their supporters alike. Now students, as we came across earlier that Indians were um, levied heavy taxes on them from Britishers side and these taxes continued to destroy the Indian small landowners, the farmers who were having the small lands so they were now destroyed by these heavy taxes that were in enforced on them by the Britishers. In Bengal what did happen? The Santhals 
दे लॉस्ट देयर लैंड अंडर दी न्यू रूल्स देवर दे वर पुट विद द हैवी टैक्सेस ऑन देम एंड बिकॉज दे कुड नॉट पे दो टैक्सेस दे वर इन डेट्स सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दे हैड टू लूज देयर लैंड एंड नाउ दे टर्न डेस्परेट डेस्परेट मीन्स होपलेस बिकॉज दे डिडेंट हैव एनी थिंग टू वर्क ऑन दे हैड लॉस्ट देयर लैंड दे हैड लॉस्ट देयर जॉब सो दे बिकेम होपलेस now in 1855 what did they do they rose in rebellion these peasants from bengal those santhals they rose in rebellion they became rebellious they started the revolt and they murdered massacred means murdered they murdered the europeans the britishers and all those people who were the supporters of the britishers okay understood discontent was brewing in the east india companies army too the white soldier get huge pay mansions to live in servants while we get pittance and slow promotions the angrage asks us to cross the sea which is against our religion who is the topi wala to abolish our age old customs we must drive out the angrage sipai mangal pande attack the adjutant of his regiment and was executed thousands of other sipais revolted they were stripped of their uniforms humiliated and put in irons so children here we see that discontentment means the dissatisfaction was also brewing brewing means developing in the army of east india company here uh, i want to tell you one thing uh, that east india company didn't have only the britishers as the soldiers but also the indians were the part of the uh, part of that army means indians were also serving as soldiers in the east india company's army but the company's officials they differentiated between the indian soldiers and the british soldiers how were they doing this how was this happening the british soldiers were getting huge salaries big houses to live in and also the servants to work for them meanwhile the indian soldiers were paid poorly and they were getting slow salaries and they got slow promotions angrage also forced indian soldiers to cross the borders of the sea that was against their religion as a result the indian soldiers got angry and shouted that angrage had no right to abolish abolish means to put to an end uh, a system or a practice so in india there was a system uh, a practice that indian should not cross the borders of the sea otherwise uh, they will lose their religion that was the custom at that time which was prevailing in indian society so those indian soldiers who were working for britishers they got angry they got annoyed that indians means the uh, indian soldiers they were forced by the britishers to cross the borders of the sea so they planned what did they plan to drive out the angrage from indian borders and then one sipahi named mangal pande he attacked uh, one official from his regiment he killed that official and he himself was then hanged to death he was executed later on by the britishers now thousands of the other sipahi also revolted they also took part in the revolt against the britishers and as a result what did happen with them they were stripped of their uniforms means they were terminated from their duties and they were also uh, insulted by the britishers and finally they all were put in the jails put in irons means put behind the iron bars means jails 
few englishmen had cared to understand indian customs or the people's mind oh poor brahman soldiers do you know that the grease on the bullet you have to bite is made from the fat of cows and pigs what the white man has deceived us too now till this time few englishmen they had started to understand the indian customs and the minds of indian people so they told brahman soldiers that the bullet that they were supposed to bite with their mouth was covered with the grease that was made of the out of the fat of cows and pigs and listening this as a result indians got angry their anger grew stronger and they thought that they were deceived by the british officials so very soon chapatis were sent from village to village to tell the people that their emperor would want their services so what did happen as a result very soon the revolt um, started and the chapatis as a symbol they were sent from one village to another village to convey the message that their services means the services of the people of those villages could be required by their emperor to fight the britishers and people agreed they gave their consent for the fight yes all my village man will be ready this was the consent given by the people from the heads of the villages similarly lotus flowers circulated among indian soldiers so in lotus flowers were also serving as the uh, symbol of the fight and those flowers were circulated among the indian soldiers who were working in the british army so they also uh, gave their consent to fight against the britishers and what did they say death to the foreigner they planned that now they will kill the foreigners the britishers and then the masses gave all help and shelter to the patriots so people who were living in different villages those people they stood against the englishmen and they supported the freedom fighters the patriots in the form of providing shelters for them to stay to hide and other helps to such freedom fighters now comes the eighth event that is described in this lesson uh, under the heading rewards of 1850 seven so students here a violent fight began at meerut then there was a violent outbreak at meerut means a violent fight started at meerut and the sepais they reached they marched towards the delhi and reached in the court of emperor bahadur shah zafar to seek his help the rebellion was spread far and wide the rebellion spread wider many landlords had lost their lands because of the british policies and they were sore the white man's rule must end yes we will help you so students what do we observe in these pictures and the first picture is telling us that the rebellion the revolt against the britishers was spreading far and wide so many people were involving in that revolt against the english man even the landlords indian landlords who had lost their lands because of the policies of britishers they were also angry with the british authorities so what did they do they also consented the uh, patriots the freedom fighters that these uh, landlords they will support the fight against the britishers and in this way so many people were now involved in the war against britishers to get freedom so children this is the last event described in this lesson the fight for freedom 1857 many former rulers like begum hazrat mahal of lucknow were bitter the white man has taken away my kingdom they joined the upsurge against the foreigner so along with the common man the 
and the landlords also the rulers were angry with the britishers because their kingdoms were captured by the english people so what did happen as a result of their anger they also joined the fight against the foreigners and popular leaders like maulavi ahmedullah of faizabad told the people rise brother rise the angraj is ruining our land the people rose everywhere in bareilly kanpur and allahabad so the famous leaders like uh, maulavi ahmedullah of faizabad they encouraged they motivated the indian masses to participate in the fight against the britishers because britishers were ruining their land they were destroying the human community of india so from every part of our country such as bareilly kanpur and allahabad people rose they started to take participation active participation in the fight for freedom azimullah khan told tatya tope we should have peshwa nana sahib as our leader in this war of independence the patriots pounced upon the british and fought pitched battles all over north india 80 year old kavar se of bihar received a bullet in his wrist mother ganga this is my last offering to you so students what do we notice here that further the northern part of our country was also getting involved in this fight for freedom and one such freedom fighter azimullah khan he told tatya tope that now they should have nana sahib peshwa nana sahib as the leader of this fight for freedom against the britishers and then all the patriots they jumped into this war of freedom against the britishers and they fought the severe battles the whole northern part was involved in this battle and in the next scene we see that uh, 80 year old kavar singh of bihar he received a bullet in his wrist during his fight with the britishers so what did he do he offered his wrist in to mother ganga to save his life and what did he say that mother ganga this is my last offering to you and then he cut his wrist from the place where he got the wound because of that bullet bullet so in this way students we have seen that indian people had to struggle a lot to get this freedom that we are enjoying nowadays children i hope you have understood the lesson tomorrow we will meet with some other story till then take care of yourself thank you